Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tech Tuesday presented by Delta Media Group, where not even diplomatic immunity can save you from great value. <laughs> so, today we are going to take a look at adding listing media or, um, you know, videos, Matterport tours, things like that onto your listings so that they show up on the listing detail pages. So, to do that, I'm just going to scroll down here to listings and click on active listings. And now that loads up my uh, active listings page here. And then I'll just click on the MLS ID of whichever listing I want to go in and add media to. So um, in this case, you know, we have our MLS ID column. You can see these aren't really MLS IDs for me for test listings, but that's where I'll click. <laughs> there we go. So that brings up our listing detail page. And now to add in our media, I'm going to scroll down here to the section that basically displays all of the different video types we support for embedding. Um, now you can add a virtual tour URL up here. You can see we've got uh, primary and secondary virtual tour. That'll actually put a button on the page where you can see uh, or click to basically pass through to that tour, whatever that is. Um, but they're not embedded on the page. These things actually embed the videos or the tours right on the page. Um, so you can see you have a variety of different options here. Now they all work roughly the same way. But we just kind of um, added some more functionality to the Matterport one to get it to um, display more consistently on the detail pages and show up embedded there. So we'll take a look at that one first. So I'm just going to click on the plus sign to expand it. You can see I already have a uh, tour ID in here. Now the way this works is I will take whatever my ID or URL is here and I'll just fill in one of these fields and the system will fill out the rest for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take this tour ID and I'll copy that just so that I have it. I'm going to hit remove video. There we go. So now we'll scroll back down to our Matterport section. You can see that our video is all gone. Um, now to add it in, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in just the tour ID. I could paste in just the URL if I wanted or just the embed code, but the point is I just paste in the one. And then when I hit update, we'll give it a moment to reload. There we go and scroll back down here and you can see that it filled out the other two fields for me. So it'll work like that automatically on any one of these. Now if I wanted to change it, again I could change any one of these fields and hit update video and that would change out the other uh, fields that I didn't fill in. So in any case I would just put in one of these, hit update and have it fill out the rest. Um, so the rest of these work exactly the same way. So if I go up to YouTube and I expand that one, you can see I already have a YouTube video here works in exactly the same way. I paste in an ID or a URL and when I hit update it'll fill out the rest of the fields. Now the only difference with YouTube is that it has a video share URL which is just a kind of YouTube specific format for the video page URL. Um, but you can use that one as well. You would just put it in there and hit update and it'll fill out the rest. So once you have your video added in or your tour added in um, it should just display on your detail page. So I'm going to go up here to the top and we have a link to our listing detail page so I'll click on that. So here we are on our listing detail page, and I'll just scroll down, and you can see the first thing here is my embedded Matterport video. Um, now, I have a virtual tour link up here also, so any virtual tour URLs that you add in will basically show up as buttons up here. And when you click on them, they'll open a new window with whatever that tour is. But um, all the videos and the Matterport tours and things, when you add them to those kind of specialized sections, the system will pick them up and embed them right on the page like this. So now if I click on our, uh, our Matterport tour, for example, you can see it loads up and is viewable right here on the page. Now it still has all the same uh, kind of Matterport functionality on the page too. So, you know, I could walk around in here. Um, if I were viewing this page on a mobile device and I moved my device around, it would still, um, you know, move this around on the page. Uh, I can view, I can you know push it out to uh, push it out <laughs> to full screen, um, view it in VR if I've got a VR headset. So all that functionality is still in place, but all right here from my listing detail page. So there you go. That's all there is to it. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to give us a call or send an email into support at deltagroup.com, and we will help you out with whatever you need. So thanks a lot for joining me, and we'll talk again next week. Mm -hmm.